this magnificent wall is the blank canvas. It's hard to imagine a bigger canvas. We're really excited to be bringing the first mural to life. This enormous white wall is full of potential for an artist with the right vision. We wanted to just leave it open to their interpretation. Bitsy Summers of the Oceanside Murals Initiative says it's the first location for a series of murals. There's actually about 60 ideal spots. That Main Street Oceanside hopes will transform downtown into a public arts destination. The Star Theater is a prime location, and with it also being a historical building, a cultural arts institution, it seemed like a great place to kick off the initiative. Kind of like this rough texture in the bricks. That's Amy Berkman is one of 32 artists inspired to compete for this space. Yeah, I've been thinking about this wall for the last few weeks now and, and what kind of artwork I'd want to put on something like this, especially in this community. <laughs> Berkman is a professional muralist and performance artist. Any type of art that I do, I always want it to be inspirational or thought-provoking. I'm fairly certain I have an image um, in mind that I really love, and I think it will look really awesome on this wall. The response from the public here is flattering. Berkman is up against stiff competition. It's a completely different experience to create a public work of art. Another artist vying for the space is the creator of an iconic mural in neighboring Carlsbad. Everybody walks up and pets it. Michael Summers has paintings in galleries around the country, but murals, murals are different, he says. When people walk into a museum, they're expecting an aesthetic experience. Murals catch people by surprise. There's this moment of being like, just completely dumbfounded when you encounter something that's unexpected and beautiful. This mural is part of his Right as Rain series, and he would dearly love to paint another in the series in Oceanside. Oceanside is my hometown, and I, I love Oceanside, and I want to create a piece there. I uh, have envisioned a lion and a zebra laying together side by side underneath this kind of twisty, gnarled tree. Oceanside already hosts dozens of murals. The murals do a really good job of bringing people's attention to your building. For example, this one on the 101 Cafe. I pride myself as a shameless self-promoter. John Daly is the cafe's original owner. The reason we got interested in putting a mural on the side of the building is because we were trying to bring attention to ourselves. His cafe and the mural were featured in Sunset Magazine. It's crazy, but people still get out here and get their picture taken with it all the time. <laughs> Murals have popped up all over Oceanside. Picasso's face graces Artist's Alley, close to City Hall. Quails float weightlessly on the side of the Beach Community Center. And images have sprung up on brick walls all over town to promote nearby businesses. They're not all downtown. Elegant waterbirds fly on concrete walls beneath an overpass near Buccaneer Beach, and youth groups have brightened up buildings at Libby Lake. It was the tribal was here, and then he got the father here. But Gumaro Escarcega with Main Street Oceanside says these murals of Oceanside Pier, the Mission, and the Marines at Camp Pendleton are 20 years old, but they're not being well maintained. Our initiative is to maintain that. And this flock of birds is beautiful, but unfinished. This is an economic development initiative that we're working for. Escarcega says the initiative is not trying to control the spontaneity of street art, but it is trying to raise the standards and raise Oceanside's profile. And we also want to create quality work for the community and the tourists that come visit us. Oceanside has a museum of art. It is well respected. We did some, some fabulous things there, but it was really housed inside the museum walls. But doesn't reach the whole community, Summers says. And we were constantly struggling with people saying, oh, there's a museum in Oceanside? We didn't know this existed. So I'm really excited to move into this forum of public art. The 32 artists who applied to the Oceanside Mural Initiative have been narrowed down to 11. Here are some of the concepts they've submitted. The winner will get $6,000, and Main Street Oceanside's goal is to raise enough funds to sponsor nine more murals in the next three years. Next Tuesday night, the public is invited to a meeting at the Star Theater. We really want the community to feel a part of this. To choose the final Analyst who will transform this blank canvas into something beautiful and unexpected. We're going to get people coming and seeing what Oceanside has to offer. Allison St. John, KPBS News.